I'm here at Westminster, where the fate of the United Kingdom is decided by 350 politicians in the House of Commons. The House is met off oh, for God's sakes, Matthew, this is so boring. It's cold, it's wet, my hair has lost all of its natural pizzazz in the rain. Oh, come on, Josh, let's just get this done. Your generation needs to take an interest in this stuff. The politics is so boring. None of the parties have loud music or beer pong. Nobody can make politics interesting. Or can they? Let's investigate. How many teams would you say that there are in British politics? Teams. Gangs. That's uh, nearer, actually. The government is run by either the Conservative Party or the Labour Party. Which um, one's better? So the Conservative stance is that we'll give a bit of money to you a small number we'll. of people. Are yeah, you Conservative? I'm, I'm speaking as if I was a member of the Conservative government. We will give some money to young uh, people so they can buy a house if they already have lots of money. Let's pretend now that I'm Labour. Labour would say, we are going to... Um, <laughs> We're going to build lots of social housing. So Labour's saying... I am too. Nobody wants to admit it. <laughs> right. It's okay. She's just going to with me. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. Boris Johnson really wanted to be Prime Minister after David Cameron resigned. And... Um, <laughs> That, that, that's how most of the Conservative Parliamentary mm. Party reacted mm. as well. So, so what happened Vote is, for me, I'm hanging from a string wire. Exactly. <laughs> um, and so they said, well, what we actually need is somebody who can carry themselves well in a public situation. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they went from one end of the spectrum to the other. Exactly, yeah. Pick out your favourite character. She's full of <laughs> This guy is it. It's kind of a Idiot. I like him. Nigel Farage. He looks like a cool guy, doesn't he? He's the yeah. type of guy you get onto the pub with Nigel, next thing you know you're in a club. Yeah. It's Rees Mogg. This man over here. Yes. Why would he be your favourite? Of all of them, he's probably the straightest. I won't say he's 100% straight, no politician yeah. is. There's no room to be gay in Rees Mogg's household. No. Probably him. Boris. I just think he's really funny. Obviously, we want a person who represents our country yeah. to be funny. Yeah. Which team is he on? I think he's Labour. Labour, Labour, okay. Yeah. Obviously, with Labour being the governing party, I think he's doing a really good job yeah. of spreading the good message that Labour are doing uh, yes. for the country. He's hanging from a pole. He's, he's kicking children in the face. Do you think he's doing a good job? Maybe yes, maybe no. I love your hat. It's uh, got to be a bit careful. It's a bit Russian-looking. Oh, thank you. Boris <laughs> might tell you off if he saw you wearing <laughs> that at the moment. he steal it, won't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think it is that British politics is so boring at the moment? Brexit. The public voted for it. We're coming out. Now, all this waffling... You, did you say you're coming out? <laughs> yeah. It's getting boring and boring and boring. I know. We had to harden up a bit. Fire a nuke. Yeah, man. <laughs> Often people say to me, politics is not interesting. You've got to recognise that politics is interested in you. The decisions are being made about you all the time, around how much your housing is going to cost, about what sort of wages you're going to have. These are interesting questions, Josh, no? I'm sorry, I, what I are completely you, what are you? zoned out. Theresa May couldn't get enough votes on her own, so then she hired some politicians from Northern Ireland to help her win the election. Yes. How much did she pay them? Oh, I think it was about a billion pounds, wasn't it? A billion pounds. It's a pretty good payday, isn't it? Yeah. It's more like in Game of Thrones when the Lannisters haven't got enough men for their army. So what they do is they pay a bunch of sellswords to come and fight for them and help overthrow the Seven Kingdoms so that they hold on to power of the Iron Throne. Yes. Now that, that is interesting. I think we need a more straightforward storyline for our audience to follow. Imagine... Jeremy Corbyn has a forbidden love affair with a Tory MP, or he finds out Tony Blair is his long-lost brother, or the House of Commons gets taken over by German terrorists on Christmas Eve. He's hiding in the air vent with a submachine gun. Oh no, that's actually Die Hard. So let's pretend for a second that I know nothing about Theresa May. How would you describe her to me? It's someone who's very dedicated. Almost like the reanimated corpse of a Victorian nanny. So who is in charge of the Labour Party? It's Jeremy Corbyn, is the leader of the Labour Party. I see, and what is it about James Gordon that makes him so interesting? I think what people are interested in is he speaks to their interest. Pretend I know nothing about Jeremy Carton. Why should I be interested in him? 
I mean, to me, he looks a bit like a cranky old hippie who's lost his stash or a 1970s sitcom writer who's two weeks past a deadline. So I think what we've got to do is look at Theresa May's image and figure out how we can make her seem more interesting. I'm thinking we structure Theresa a bit more like that. Have you seen Sons of Anarchy? No. She's not playing by anybody's rules. She'll headbutt Boris if he steps out of line. Look, she's chugging neat vodka off the bench. I don't know what's gonna happen next, but you know what I am? Interested. Let's figure out how we're gonna pitch Jiminy Conkers to the younger generation. Look at this one first. We've got a hipster look here for uh, <laughs> Jiminy Crickets. It's a strong look, all the rage at the moment. You know, I look at this fella and I think, I wanna get to know him. I wanna watch him drink whiskey out of cocktail jars, and I wanna listen to- Teetotal. He's teetotal? Yeah. Donald Trump as well. Teetotal, some parallels there. Red ties, and that's about it. I think. Red ties, yeah. teetotal. Two completely different policies, as you know. Yeah. It's the first uh, Labour leader to have a beard, I think, since Keir Hardy. You know? So they have some he sort of the, medical he, condition? He be... What about this? We could turn her into a vampire. Vampires are edgy, they're sexy, they're dangerous. Is she going to negotiate with Jean-Claude Juncker, or is she going to sink her teeth into his neck? I don't know, but you know what I do know? It's interesting. So Jeremy Corbyn wants to leave the EU. He voted against joining the union in 1975. And then before the referendum, didn't Corbyn say that the Labour Party was overwhelmingly for Remain? But then more recently, he said it would be wrong for the UK to stay in the single market. Would you say that you have any idea what's going on? Well, I think it's a shift in position. I feel like if I asked you to tell me what a circle was, you'd tell me that it was a shape with a 360 degree angle instead of just telling me it was a circle. So she wants to stay in the EU because she supported Remain during the referendum. But then when she became prime minister and started talking about how much she loves Brexit and Brexit is Brexit and red, white and blue Brexit and Brexit, 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 is she just saying that because she wants to say what people want to hear to make her more interesting? No. So it turns out the reason people aren't interested in politics is because politicians aren't really interested in people. They're interested in power. So now that I've learned so much about politics, I reckon it's time I get some power. Vote for Josh. Josh is boss. I know what I want and I won't change my mind. I won't just tell you what you want to hear, I'll tell you what I want to hear. The truth. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm probably going to ruin the country, but at least I am interesting.